Stick figures, they're supposed to be easy, right? Then why are they so hard sometimes? Well, today I'm gonna give you some simple tips to make it easier. I'm gonna show you how I use stick figures in my own drawings to make characters and some best practices so that your stick figures read more clearly. Let's draw. All right, when I asked around to some of my friends and asked them to draw me what their stick figures look like, I got something around in this range. So we have your head, and then I would get a long torso and tiny legs with arms kind of in the middle. If you think about how your body is actually proportioned, your torso is not as long as your legs. So let's start off with that. Let's do a shorter torso and have the leg start up here. And then let's have the neck be much shorter with your hands coming down to just below where the hips are, down to here. And that is starting to look just a little bit more like a normal person's proportions. If you have not been doing this already, I recommend that you just practice drawing this way for a little while. So you can draw them oh, jumping, or bending over, maybe doing a little yoga stretch. You can do sitting. But practice drawing like this for a while, and when you feel comfortable drawing your stick figures with these proportions, then we can move on to the next step. Now what I've often heard said is that the next best stick figure shows your hips and your shoulders. And I know I did that backwards. And the middle line here is kind of like your spine. Now this is, I would say, you know, even closer to how the human body is because your arms don't come off of your body like that. You have shoulders to separate them and it is good. I, for some reason, have always struggled with this particular type of stick figure. So I do something slightly different, which is I draw a box or kind of a rectangle really. And then I have the legs come off in the same spot. So they come off the edges there and the arms from the other side. I like drawing it like this because I can change the shape of this box to sort of change how you feel about the character. So I can do, it helps me think about, I guess, the shapes of my character. So I can do a big upside down triangle and it makes me feel more like superhero. I could do an hourglass and make it feel more feminine or dainty. I could do an upside down triangle with short little legs. It feels like a little girl. But drawing out the rectangle here helps me think about how I'm gonna make my character. Now the rectangle here doesn't have to remain straight. You're, let's say you're twisting, maybe you're stretching over here. You can make that box stretch. Maybe you can press on this side and stretch on that side. If you're looking at it from the side, maybe he's sad, so it's being bent down. And what I especially love about these characters is step three. Easily, I can make these into actual characters. All I do is add an extra line. Now he has legs. And maybe I'll give him some ears and some hair. And now I kind of already have a basic character to play with.
All right, that's how I draw my stick figures. I hope you found this helpful. Like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this and comment down below if there's anything else you'd like to learn about. All right, until then, keep on drawing.